Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Um, now we are currently at the conclusion of a ritual for a client of ours and this is our last step. Now this spell is particularly for those of you guys that there's been either a breakup, a separation, uh, some type of weathering of a relationship. Um, so if there has been a separation or a breakup, um, and you're wanting to bring that person towards you, wanting to rekindle or reconnect or strengthen the relationship, then this spell is for you. Now, for those of you guys that just recently started dating someone, as an example, or that you haven't met the person in person, as an example, those of you guys that are connecting with someone through social media, etc., then this spell is not for you. Now, it's not because it's not going to give you results. It has more to do with the strong results that you get you don't want to put yourself in a position uh, where you can be in danger. As an example, if you don't know the person, you don't know their motives, and you're just getting to know them, and you haven't even built a rapport with them, um, obviously the energy could be very wide. Uh, so what I mean by that is it can, there's not such strong hold to have or project a direct energy. Uh, because you haven't built that uh, connection, there's no physical connection. Um, so the energies can be amplified because they're going everywhere. They don't have a specific, um, a specific um, target, so to speak, because you don't have that physical connection with them. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, if you're just dating someone, you're you know trying to you know, do a spell that is going to want them to have a relationship with you, but you don't know them physically, or there hasn't been any type of physical connection, then do not do this, basically, okay? All right, so like I said, if there's been a recent separation or a breakup, um, or if you've been dealing with the person for over a year and they just don't want to make it official, then this spell is for you. What we're going to need is uh, there is a wide range of ingredients that we're going to use. Now, the first and most important uh, instrument that you're going to use in this spell is a, uh, what are these called? I, I, uh, a gas lamp. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's been extremely crazy. Um if I say that I have not had any rest in the past three months, it is, uh, trust me, I'm not being dramatic. I am being genuinely honest. I've probably slept, I don't know, about eight or nine hours just this week that passed, and I am running off of two days of no sleep. Yes. Um, it takes commitment, you guys. <laughs> For those of you guys that are just new to my channel, welcome. For those of you guys that have been with me from the very beginning, I love you guys. Kisses and love to you guys. But for those of you guys that have not subscribed or uh, randomly or sporadically come to my channel, I would truly appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel, not only to help the channel grow itself, but to actually be able to connect with uh, a wider range of people out there uh, that are looking for guidance or that are looking for these type of spells that they can do themselves. Um, I would truly appreciate it. Every work that is done on my channel is specifically done for clients. Um, and at the same time, like I said, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy not only doing the videos, but editing them, uh, doing all kind of things with the crazy schedule that I already have. So having you guys subscribe and support our channel greatly means the world to us because it gives us more motivation to continue uh, putting effort and energy towards these spells, um, towards everything pretty much that I put out for you guys. So anyway, sorry, I know I went on a whole different, <laughs> but anyways. My point to this is if you subscribe or if you uh, share videos, etc., it's greatly appreciated. You're doing a service to our channel uh, to be able to connect with the masses as well as uh, empowering people more than anything. Um, and it just motivates us on our side to continue doing this. Like I said, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice for those of us in the craft that genuinely do this 
not just as you know a practice or a profession but that we actually live this lifestyle um it, it, there's a lot that goes into it and it's just you know another of the thousands of things that we need to do so being appreciated is nice is what i'm saying <laughs> uh, anyways okay after all that let's get into this okay like i was saying you're gonna need an oil lamp now oil lamps have been used throughout history i want to say more than 400 years now um this is a, a practice that is highly used in uh in voodoo as well as in santeria as well as in um as well as in um what was i gonna say oh yeah as well as in the philippines i was told recently i had no idea but anyways um so the reason why we use oil lamps is because it is there is a of a you know a wide range of things that go into doing spell work with oil lamps um now one of them is sort of like a substitute for as an example a candle um when worked when introduced with herbs and everything that we use for spell work it 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 not only substitutes a candle but because it is consistent meaning once you light it like a candle and uh, wait until you know it is completed um it will definitely render you results but not only that it gives you quicker results um so when you are dealing with any type of spell where there is an urgency to it i would highly encourage you guys to use these now not i don't use these necessarily for all clients it just depends on the situation and circumstance because there is a pressing issue here that's the reason why we're going to be doing this uh tonight okay all right so you're going to be needing an oil lamp you're also going to be needing a red marker you're going to be needing a picture of you or your partner or both of you guys together now if you don't have a picture of both of you guys together you can get two pictures meaning the partner and yours um you would write on both the pictures your first name or sorry their first name their last name and date of birth and then you're going to go over so it would be like this uh their first name last name date of birth and then you're gonna go over their name with your information first name last name date of birth but you're gonna do it on two pictures for those of you guys that don't have the same picture where both of you guys are together you're gonna have to do it on both pictures okay once that is done um now this is directly for those of you guys that don't have a picture together with your partner now let's say you have two okay so let me rip it just to give you guys an example all right let's say uh you guys have a picture of yourself as well as a picture of your partner right this is for those of you guys that don't have pictures together so what you're going to do is you're going to get a uh, any type of gum it doesn't matter the flavor does it doesn't matter what you're going to do is you're going to chew the gum um, maximum 30 minutes um, so it can get your saliva once you're done what you're going to do is you're going to place the gum on one of the pictures and you're going to put them together face to face meaning your picture and your partner's picture face to pay, uh, face to face with the gum okay so i hope that makes sense now for those of you guys that do have a picture together with your partner you don't need this okay i hope that makes sense because you guys go crazy asking questions and most of the answers are in the video so anyways okay so what we're gonna do is let's say example those of you guys that do have a picture of, of both you and your partner so you're gonna put partner's name You're going to put the partner's information right here. Okay, the first name, last name, date of birth. Then you're going to turn it and you're going to put your name on it. Remember to put your first name, last name, and date of birth like this. All right, so once you have that, then you're going to introduce the picture into the... Uh, you're going to introduce the picture into the uh, the oil lamp, okay? So I already have my client's pictures in here, um, as well as the bay leaves, but I'm going to take you guys step by step. All right, so 
I forgot to tell you guys exactly what it is that you guys need. I apologize for that. So you're gonna need a red marker. You're gonna need pictures of both you or your partner or a picture of both of you guys together. You're gonna be needing an oil lamp. You're also going to be needing three bay leaves, okay? Let me show you. Three bay leaves, okay? Make sure to get the ones that are intact, that are not broken, and you're gonna be needing three of them. Now with the red marker, what you're gonna do is you're going to basically, you're gonna write down uh, three petitions or three wishes that you're asking for. So as an example, uh, my partner to return, to rekindle the relationship would be one. The second one would be uh, for my partner to realize they love me and can't stop thinking of me and will contact me. And then the third one, um, part, partner will want to commit and rekindle the relationship, okay? Those are just examples. So this is what you're going to be writing on the bay leaves, on the three bay leaves. So with this, let me give you an example. I'm just gonna, the reason I didn't put the bay leaves on here is because these are not consecrated. Uh, I have the bay leaves in here already and they've been consecrated and this is consecrated. So I don't wanna mix it, um, but you guys get the point. Okay, so let's just say you're gonna put the three bay leaves right here next to the other herbs, okay? Let me put this back so I don't get them mixed up. All right, so you're gonna need a tray or a plate. Uh, you're also gonna be needing a small mirror. Now, mirrors are highly used uh, for any type of protection, uh, protective spell work, for any type of scrying, any type of uh, anything that has to do with divination. Obviously, we're not doing divination here, we're doing spell work. Um, but mirrors are highly used for amplified energy, whether it be love, whether it be protection, whatever it is. So. Anything that you put on top or on the mirror, what you're doing is basically you're charging it, but you're also reflecting it back to you. Because we're doing a love spell here, we're using the mirror to be able to send out the energy, right? But we're also wanting it, we're also wanting to receive it, meaning to receive their love or to receive their connection or to receive their communication. So that's the reason why we're using the mirror here. Now you're gonna put the mirror right at the center, then you're going to be pulling out the herbs. So what you're gonna be needing is, you're gonna be needing any type of carnation. Ideally, use red or yellow carnations as these are, um, there is purity behind the yellow. It is not only for use for love, but also for friendship. Uh, to restore or to remove any type of anger and animosity that the partner may be having or holding against you, it soothes it. It soothes them. Uh, soothes them. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Anyways, um, so that's the reason why we're going to be using carnations. Now, like I said, yellow is to be able to uh, soothe them. It's able to remove any type of anger or animosity, anything like that. We're using red, obviously, because of passion and desire. We're wanting to turn their head back towards us and desire us. So that's the reason why I'm using red, but you can always use red or yellow uh, or pink as well. Now, we're also gonna be using some rosemary, as you guys can see here. You don't need very much. Very little is gonna go into this, um, into this jar, you guys. So you're gonna be needing rosemary as well. Obviously, rosemary has very uh, loving essence, but as well, it is highly used for protection, protection for the relationship itself. Like if you have people that constantly meddle or get in between you and your partner, uh, this is a very good herb to use as well. Now we're also going to be using um, pansy, pansy herb. Now pansy is highly used for uh, any type of love working that has to do with trying to dominate or have them follow you or have them uh, pretty much want to uh, please you, want to you know make you happy, that type of energy. So that's the reason why we're using pansy. And chamomile, again, chamomile has a lot of um, a lot of uses, but one of them in love has a lot to do with the soothing, the soothing of a relationship or healing a relationship as well as it serves um, 
for commitment. So uh, the chamomile is great to remove any anger or anything that the partner may be currently thinking that the reason why they don't want to go back with you. Um, the chamomile will, again, like I said, it dissipates that type of energy as well as amplifies or triggers the desire for some type of commitment or some type of longevity. So that's the reason why we're using that. And um, also we're going to be using some mansa, a mansa wapo. Now, I know a lot of you guys may not be able to get a hold of this depending on the country you're in. If you're not able to use it, don't worry about it. You can use the other herbs. Uh, but if you really want to amplify and strengthen the spell work, um, then a mansa wapo is very important. Now, this is used and it is highly used um, for anything that has to do, again, like I said, with follow me boy or follow me girl type of oils that you find on botanicals. Well, this is the herb and the, that herb serves for again like i said it's it's a dominate dominating type of energy but in a very loving and sexual way so it's like they're aiming to please you or to follow you or to look for you or to be around you um without so much as in to feel confusion because a lot of the times when we're doing domination type of spell work there is an element of confusion um where they feel kind of you know dizzy or kind of like when you're drunk uh, that there's this feeling that overwhelms you and you can't explain it. Well, pansy has some of that element without the element of drunkness, meaning that they feel that they are certain this is what they want. There's no confusion there. So that's the reason why we're using pansy, okay? Now, these are the herbs we're going to be using. Now, in regards to oils, um, you want to be burning, you want to be burning some type of incense. Whether it be love incense, whether it be, uh, you can use dragon's blood, you can use patchouli, uh, you can use rose oil, uh, sorry, rose essence or um, incense, sorry. Uh, in my case, we're using lavender um, and I have the lavender incense already burning in the back. Um, so lavender, obviously, I don't need to explain it. A very loving type of energy as well as sexual energy and healing energy. So that's the reason why we're using that particularly for my client's case. So like I said, you can use any type of incense for that. Now you can also integrate um, hibiscus uh, flowers in this, uh, in, these, um, in this plate with the herbs, but I'm gonna be using my personal hibiscus oil and this is something, uh, this is an oil that I do uh, I want to say every six months or so for, you know, clients works, obviously. Now, hibiscus oil is, the flower itself is very sexual in energy. It is to create passion, desire, lust. Um, but it is a representation of the female client. So for those of you guys, as an example, if you're a guy and you're doing this for a girl, then you would use, instead of hibiscus, you would use thyme. Um, now, this could be same-sex uh, spell as well. Uh, if you're doing it for a girl, again, and you're a female yourself, you would use hibiscus. If you're doing this for a male and you happen to be a male as well, then you would use thyme. I hope that makes sense, okay? All right. Now, the oils that we're going to be using, you can use any type of love oil. Uh, the majority of the time, I'm going to be using my personal oils. Um, now, I'm going to be using uh, a binding oil here as well as a um, the Dove's blood oil. I'm going to be using that. And we're also going to be using uh, my personal money oil. Now, uh, a lot of people would be like, well, why are you using money oil for a love, you know, a love spell? Well, a lot of the times, a lot of commitments or commitment issues come from the lack of money or the lack of finances. Um, sometimes, you know, a lot of things are going on in the partner's life where they're not able to fully focus on the relationship because perhaps they're dealing with money issues, financial stability, that type of thing. So that's the reason why I'm going to be using money oil. I'm also going to be using some rue oil. Um, now, rue is, again, another very protective plant. This is a plant that will help you or assist you in protecting the relationship and the integrity of the relationship itself 
by, you know, if you have people lurking or trying to be nosy all up in your business or all up in your partner's business, uh, this is going to keep them at bay. So that's the reason why I'm going to be using brew oil. And finally, I'm going to be using um, my love oil. So as you guys can see here, it is a love oil that is concentrated with a lot of uh, precipitation oil for love as well as sex, uh, cinnamon for lust and desire. Uh, we have roses for obviously genuine love and connection as well as um, hibiscus, uh, thyme, and I think, what else? There's a few things in here. <laughs> But anyways, like I said, I these are the ones that I sell on my online store. So you can be able to find all of that on there if you guys are trying to purchase that. Anyways, okay. All right, so once we have all of that, you're going to put the herbs in the plate. Very, very important to consecrate them. So how do we consecrate them? It is very easy to use. A lot of, you know, people on my YouTube channel, I see you guys comment below, well, I didn't get results, well, this or that. Um, I could give you a list and in, you know instructions on how to do spell work. But if your intention and your focus is not what you're, towards what you're doing, then you're not going to get results, period. So again, anything that has to do with herbs, it is very important to put our intention and to tell the herbs exactly what it is that we want them to do. So as an example, um, I can get the pansy, uh, the pansy leaves, put my prominent or... Uh, your, you know, if you're right-handed, you would put your right hand over it. If you're left-handed, you would put your left hand on it. Or with the tray and plate, you can put all of the ingredients, put both your hands on top of the plate and put the intention and empower them. So as an example, you would say, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate uh, these ingredients in this bowl as a as ingredients and tools that will assist me in rendering me results for the spell work that is about to commence. And then you start calling out each herb. So an example, uh, pansies, pansies of love, uh, you with your domineering energy, with your powerful and strength, please empower this spell work that is about to commence, I ask you. To be able to overpower my partner, as an example, um, to bring him or to bring her towards me, uh, in a loving and quickly manner. Then you're going to go to uh, your carnations and you're going to be saying the same thing. Um, carnations, I empower you, I strengthen you, and I ask you to empower my spell work. Um, I ask you to bring with you the intention, the genuine intention um, in my partner's heart so that he may have the desire and want uh, to rekindle the relationship, to think of me day and night, etc., etc. So you're going to do that with each single uh, herb that you have here, okay? All right, so once you have the pictures, you're going to put them in here. The first things that are going to go into the oil lamp is going to be the pictures as well as the bay leaves. So you're going to get the bay leaves with, uh, with each wish written down on them with red ink, and you're going to put it in here. Now, once you're done with that, what we're going to do is basically we're going to put all of the, um, we're going to put all of the, we're going to put all of the ingredients, all of the herbs in here. Okay. Take your time, you guys. And like I said, it's all about intention. It's all about being clear and concise on exactly what it is that you want to happen. What is it that you're expecting? What is it that you want these herbs um, to do? What is it that, you know, what's your intention behind doing this? I want my partner to come back to me. I want him to desire me. I want him to think of me day and night to make him very thoughtful, very considerate of my feelings, to have the desire and want to rekindle the relationship, to strengthen it so that we can go back to a time of peace and prosperity and happiness. Um, things like that you're going to be reciting when you're preparing the lamp. And obviously, don't make a mess of it. You guys, when I do spell work, I'm messy, let me tell you. All right, so once we have that, what we're going to do now is, give me one second, let me bless this. And then I follow the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. 
Okay, so once we're done with that, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put this here so I don't wanna spill because I'm going to be introducing the hibiscus oil. I know I should have brought my all right so we just put some of the hibiscus oil and like I said uh, hibiscus is extremely good <laughs> for sex any type of sex magic any type of lust spell like I said even those of you guys that are currently in a oh and it smells so good currently in a relationship right and you've been in this relationship for quite a while now and for some reason your partner just their desire or lust for you has weathered this is definitely going to amplify that type of energy all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to be pouring some of the dove's blood here some of the love binding oil All right, now I'm going to be adding some of the money oil. Okay, some of the rue oil. Like I said, if you guys have like a lot of people really meddling in your relationship uh, people in your partner's ear just making them just making your life hell you definitely want to use some of the root oil I'm going to use some of the love oil here okay Ooh, these oils smell absolutely amazing especially this love oil Yummers. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. So once we have that, what we're going to do now is we're going to empower it in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. I bless and consecrate these oils. I consecrate and activate the dove's blood to be a representation of the true and genuine love that they have for each other. Part of the love binding oil so that they may come together in perfect peace and harmony so that there may be re reconciliation and empowered connection and strengthen their love and respect for one another bringing them happiness and joy i empower the money oil so that they may be focused primarily in their relationship so that abundance and prosperity may prosper in their relationship as well as outside of the relationship in their professional sectors i bless and empower the root oil so that they may be protected from any outsource or any person outside of their relationship keep temptation away from them have them have a very distinct and cord uh, linking them together their hearts together all right so once we have that done now all that there's left to do and of course remember you guys to have the incense burning in the background when you're doing this now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be introducing the lamp oil so that give me Okay, my lovelies.
all right my lovely so this is ready we are ready and set to go we're gonna introduce this so what we're gonna do now is we're going to light the oil lamp and we're gonna leave it burning for a good two hours this is a six day ritual so what you're going to do is you're going to light um you're gonna light the oil lamp and you're gonna let it burn the first night for two hours if within those two hours the oil is completely consumed um which i find that rare but if it does happen um then consider your spell work completely done what you're going to do now is once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to take out all of the herbs and everything that's in here. You're going to place it on a plate and let it dry. Once it is completely dry, what you're going to do is you're going to get a cloth, a red cloth or a white cloth, and you're going to put all of the ingredients in there. You're going to cover it and you're going to stay with that. Ideally, you would put this, you would put the ingredients in the cloth or in the socket um, under your mattress or in your underwear drawer where it's extremely private, you would have it or keep it there until it, its manifestation has happened. Once it has done uh, exactly that and manifested for you, then you can toss it out. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to light it. And... Elements of air, elements of air, earth, fire, water, and spirit, please be present. Help to assist and empower this spell so that we will be able to give and grant quick and rendering results to my client as quickly and as effortlessly as possible. I don't think it took very well. Move. All right, my lovelies, so you guys can see here, we are set and ready to go. We're gonna let this um, overnight, uh, like I said, burn it for about two hours the first night. After that, like I said, it's a six day ritual. So what you're going to do is you're going to light it um, for two hours the first night. Second night, you're gonna do it for an hour and you're gonna go on every single uh, every single day for the six consecutive days lighting it uh, for an hour now if the oils are consumed before that that this is a great omen it's just a representation of spirit letting you know uh, that the manifestation is going to happen sooner than you actually expect so keep your heart open and your mind open to the possibilities i send you guys all my love and light i hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon